All right, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to re-roll on Princess Connect um, very, very quickly. And this basically is probably the fastest way to re-roll. It's, it's a good way to pretty much get all the, um, the units that you want, you know, all the waifus that you want when you start, when you start playing the game. Um, I'm actually gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm going to um, just actually literally do it once right now. Okay. So uh, the way that you reroll very, very quickly is you go to the DMM website and you can actually have everything be shown in English. So you, you'll, you'll be able to see everything in English and you just want to click this button, um, DMM account registration. And the first step uh, of what we're going to do is we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to register an account. And the way that you do this is you add a plus, you add a plus um, number behind it. And then before you type at gmail.com. So whatever your email is plus, plus one, plus two, plus three behind it. You can just start with plus one first and then uh, create a, create a password and send the verification email. And that's all you have to do to make an account. So you can save it, go, go to your Gmail, and then just click a link to verify. And what this does is adding, adding a plus after your, um, your like plus number after your, your email address, what it does is it actually directs the same mailbox in, in Gmail. And, but the on DMM on DMM side it recommend or not recommend it recognizes you as a um, as a, a different email as a different account so you can verify various accounts um, using this method using just one Gmail account okay using just only one Gmail account so after you're done with that you just click the registration link then everything is pretty much ready. So um, the next thing what you want to do is you want to go to your computer and you want to you want to open um, the registry editor. You can just go go to your search and type registry editor and it will open this this thing up. So the folder that you want to go into is um, HK current user. You go into software and Psy games princess connect redive. So once you're here, um, we need to go down to where it starts with um, with M. And there should be a M3, M3F. I'll actually post. Um, I'll, I'll copy and paste this in the um, in the description below, so you can make sure it's the right one. And it should be YS. It should be this one. M3F1YS. Make sure it starts with this. M3F1YS. And you just want to delete this. Delete that one. And then there's another one that starts with um, MH x5 c c g and two equal signs like this one's like really different from all the other ones so it's very easy to recognize you just want to delete this one as well and once you're done with that um you go to your go to your your um oh wait we need to launch dmm player um i should have it here okay so um, just launch DMM player. And once you are done launching it, then you can, um, you can log out of whatever previous account you were using, the one that you didn't want, because you re-rolled and got some like, you know, shitty stuff that you didn't want to use. And then um, you can just copy the same, you know, I was using plus two, and then um, this one is plus three. So you just uh, enter your, your password And then you can go in, um, just click this. And what you want to do is actually just uh, like wherever's on your desktop, wherever your like shortcut for 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 your game is um, on 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 your desktop, you can just go in here and you just uh, double click it, and it should run the game.
and it'll, it'll ask you a few like confirmation stuff um, just want to make sure your your birth year is like make sure you're over 20 so it doesn't give you like any limitations and then it's done here open something up that we don't really need we just go back here and the game should be launching now you just click yes you just check this confirm check this confirm and then um, game should launch now so while we're actually um, while we're actually in the game what you want to do is you want to 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 re-roll um, we just we can just go in the game and you know all the data is not currently not downloaded but that, that doesn't really matter right now and all we're gonna do is just we're just gonna skip to the part where we can um, re-roll and I'll, I'll, I'll actually just play up to that part and I'll actually do a do a live re-roll and kind of show you the fastest way to skip through everything so you just want to skip here and over here you can also click the menu and skip as well and then this way you just this time whenever you have like a cutscene or like some sort of animation whenever this menu is up you just click this and then skip um, whenever there's a cutscene you can just keep clicking it until something pops up and then you can skip that. And this actually, this method allows you to go through it without um, having to re-download data, which speeds up the process. You can change your name in, in the game, like for the account that you wanna keep. So we're not, we're, you don't even have to waste any time doing this. You can just click okay with whatever name it like recommends you. You can change it in game later anyways, so it doesn't matter. This part you can actually skip as well. You don't have to watch the battle tutorial. You have to watch them kill that mushroom. So you can skip this. This you can actually skip as well. And there's a few parts you actually can't skip. So this is like kind of the beginning tutorial part. You really only have to do two stages. And after you do two stages, you can start re-rolling. So we're, we're actually just gonna go into the first stage. It tells you to put all your, all your princesses in. And then um, if you have this on on the like the thing behind me, if you have that the, the auto battle on before, then it will just um, it will it'll be kept on from your like previous reroll. So you don't you literally don't have to touch anything. And this part you can't skip as you can see over here. Um, you actually have to go through the battle, but it's pretty fast because this is like level one. They're all super weak, and then just have it on auto. And there's only like three stages and like three enemies. I just click, keep clicking, um, they level up, level two. And then it, it forces you to um, go and put on some equipment. So just keep clicking, click this, equip, click this, equip. And then now it it goes over here and here you, ha you can actually do a summon and this is a guaranteed um, three star it gives you a random guaranteed three star so we don't actually know who it is and we'll see we'll see who it is very soon all right this is oh it's Anna um, Anna's Anna's not bad she's a she's a kind of kind of late game you really can't use her to progress early on um, she's mostly for for like clan battles, but it's fine. That's not where where most of our re rolls are going to be coming from. Uh, most of the re rolls that we're we're going to be coming from actually comes from comes from the uh, the gems that that we get for free. Um, basically, if you log on right now at the time of me like making and uploading this video, you get up to I think it's. Um, it's like 16k gems almost 17k which lets you do like um, a bit more than 100 pulls 100 and 110 pulls lets you do 110 pulls so you can you can actually do quite a lot of pulls so 
So we just finish this part and it tells you to, this is like literally the last part, it tells you to collect the quest and then it will um, kind of like update the date that you, you log in, give you your like daily login rewards and stuff. And then you're free from, from here on. So all that took around 10 minutes or so. You just click this box and it opens. See, this is all the free gems from like the events recently. So um, if you take advantage of like the events, you can get almost close to um, close to 17K gems. And this lets you do 110 pulls. So actually, we don't even need to do this. We're, we're just going to go in and we're going to we're going to start rolling. <laughs> we're going to start uh, do some gotcha, see what we get. All right, nothing lucky so far. Um, in my experience, I don't know why, but whenever I use this, like this, this lets you um, pull really fast again. But whenever I use that, like my luck isn't as good. It might be just some sort of superstition. But I, I realized that like, or, or actually, um, from my experience, like if you, if you don't get anything, if you like go out and then go back in again, you, you get like slightly better luck. See, last time it gave, gave me only one two star, but this time it gave me like multiple two stars. We'll, we'll try using this again. See if my uh, superstition is right. See, this was pretty bad. This, this gave me like two, right? All right, see, if, if, we, if we go out and then like pull again, it might give me something good. Nope. <laughs> At least this time it gave me three two stars. Oh man, my my uh my luck this this run is really bad. It's super super bad. Man, this is so unlucky. What is going on? This is insanely unlucky. Hmm. Don't tell me we're gonna get to get to it without getting a single two star or, or three star that'd be really bad all right this time it worked we got one what's it gonna be i think it's i think it's anna it is anna you can see Greya's wings on the side all right that was um that was, that was decent. We still got a few more. I'm just gonna use them up, and um, kind of see our our end results. Okay, well, we're just gonna see our end results. I think it you can't really ask for too much, uh, like anything more than trying to get like three, three three stars. I think I, th I think like three three stars out of th this many pulls. Like if you're just re-rolling, um, is like good enough to start. If you can get like three three stars. This this run is just super unlucky. It's insanely unlucky. See what we get. Oh, we got the limited. Swimsuit Saren. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, we're just gonna finish it up and uh Wait, what what's it what's it trying to do? Oh, I ran out. Uh, yeah, hundred and ten pulls. So my points went up to 110, and I did actually get her at the end. Okay, so this is an account. This account I probably like, you know, would not, would not be a keeper. Um, you know, out of the this one's guaranteed. Like this Anna over here was guaranteed, and I only got two. And um, you, maybe if you really want the limited character, then you can keep her. Then you can keep um, like one with the limited character. But I would probably not start the game off with this account because um, I mean Anne's pretty good, but she's not really something that will that will help me progress in the game really fast. Um, the good thing is I probably got most of the two stars I need. Actually, no, I don't have a single tank. Yeah, this account is hard to play on. If I, if I had to like progress on this account, it'd be pretty hard. Um, typically what you want to do, what you want 
what you want to get when you're trying to reroll is um, a tank. You want to have like a reliable tank. If you're trying to play the game without a tank, it's just super, super painful. Uh, a really good tank that's very easy to get is Pudding. And my luck is just so bad that I, I didn't even get her this run. Um, she's only a two star. Quite easy to to get. Um, you can get her pieces from like doing doing PvP, doing arena. So it's you know she's not too hard to raise. Uh, the tank you really want to get when you're trying to progress or early on is is Jun, and she she is like a very very versatile tank. She can tank like magical and physical damage. Um, you know just from her experience from her appearance. You know, she can already tell that she's a tank. Um, another good tank that you can start the game off with is Nozomi. Uh, a lot of people say that, you know, because of how easy it is to get her pieces, her pieces are pretty much the easiest to get in the game. Like, she's, like, the most uh, free-to-play friendly, like, character in the game, basically. And most new players try to get her to five stars, like, ASAP. And the funny thing is, on my account, because I started out off with Jun, I actually never raised uh, Nozomi. Like my, my my Nozomi is still like rank two or something like that. <laughs> like I haven't I've never never even used her. Uh, but if you start the game off with her, it's also really really good because she can she can tank both physical and magical damage. She also has a taunt, which means um, she's able to protect like your backline from getting hit with random stray attacks. And she also has a team heal to keep um, the you know your your team alive. Her only downside is that she's not like naturally super super tanky compared to the other tanks. She's not that tanky, um, but you can get her to like five stars very very easily. So her stats will basically be better than like you know other tanks at three stars. Um, and this way you can just progress through the game with her. So she's actually not too bad too. To start the start the game off with um, some notable characters to like you know if you want to play the game on easy mode you start the game off with her uh, Makoto and she's very very strong because she uh, can reduce like enemies defense and stuff so so it's very it's it's really good like if you start the game off with her basically all the games are on like the, the whole entire game is on easy mode uh, basically when I started off the game I did not actually reroll what I did was I went to um, I went to Taobao and there were people selling like f fresh brand new accounts and it was like super cheap and I just got one and that was that was it like I you could pick what characters you wanted to start start off with and I, I picked like the exact characters I wanted to start off with um, they had probably had some like automatic reroll thing going on before um, and I was just like you know I can't I don't have the time to be like doing this shit so um, basically that's what I did now unfortunately I, I can't find the seller anymore so I, I think they stopped selling for um, like the Japanese server there's there's a lot for like the Taiwan server but they stopped selling for like the Japanese server so um, you know if you want to start the game off with her uh, she's really really good and um, I guess everything else is like mostly supporty or or can be replaced Basically, if you start the game off with with uh, Makoto, Jun, Nozomi, that's really all you need, because everything else can kind of be like replaced. But anyways, that is that is pretty much it. That's kind of the reroll guide. Um, you know, if I'm not happy with this account, what I do is I could you just close it. You start from step one again. You go back to DMM. You make a new account and um, you repeat the process from, from there on. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Take care.